Hello. Um, I've had some people write with questions about bowing technique and um, and even to say um, can you put a piece of paper on your bow and you see I've done that so we can tell what direction the bow is going and I'd like to say that it's not critical especially in slow songs and fast songs though you know, reels and types the bowing is something to think about and a lot of times I'll bow differently each time so I'm not really spending a lot of time telling you you know whether to go up here or down there. It's something that's uh, usually best planned out ahead if there's a tricky part where you know the bowing is going to be difficult to uh, go ahead and work that out in a way that's comfortable to you. Now I will tell you that there is some technique to um, to bowing in fast songs and um, I'm just talking about playing you know eighth note reels. How do you do it? Let's say you're you're doing a line and it's Alright, just those notes. Alright, if I do a long bow, that's how it sounds. If I do short bow strokes, in other words, each eighth note gets its own bow stroke. See how that's different from. It gives it a much more staccato sound. Now, if you're playing a long string of notes it's going to get very tiring to uh, to play short notes and it's going to sound real choppy but if you play all long notes it's not going to have the the rhythmic feel that you really want in a fast song and so here's what I do here's sort of the secret to bowing on fast songs so here it comes a lot of you know how to do what's called a shuffle on um, with a bow stroke it's like a long short short long quarter eighth eighth quarter right this this shape sort of a Cajun sound we're done ba -ba -bum. I'll do it slowly down up down up down up down up down up okay so each up bow is followed by a short down up and then a long down bow and a short up down so it's like something that alternates. Now, how does that tie in with a fast song? Well, here's the trick. If you learn how to play that shuffle, then you can play it during a fast song, and it's sort of the perfect combination of long bow and short bow strokes. And so here I'll show you, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'll play the shuffle, I'll speed it up, and then I'll start noting with it, and then I'll give you an exercise or two. So here's the shuffle. Now speed up. Okay. Now let me slow that down for you. Just to show you that the bow strokes remain the same, right? So here's the shuffle. So here's what it sounds like. It's, the shape goes like this. Long, short, short, long, short, short. And so instead of long bows and short bows, here's the shuffle. And to me it makes a great pattern. Let me play a song for you. I always, um, one of the first songs I teach using the bowing is Old Joe Clark. And so here's what it sounds like, all shuffle. So at the very end, I got off the shuffle just a bit, but not much. So let me give you an assignment now. Scale. So let's play them and play them with shuffles. So here's an example of a D scale. 
and you can play this with all your scales and it'll help you with your bowing and your tuning. So here's a D scale. Okay. Actually, just so we can get the whole all the strings, let's go for a G scale. So we start down low. That was a G scale. Now with the shuffle. Now with the shuffle doing each note. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Short, short. Okay. Or something like that. So there you go. That's a uh, little advice on bowing on the fast songs, slow songs doesn't really matter. Thanks.